Shalom everyone from the Tabernacle of David Prophetic Dance Center in Jerusalem and I just want to share a wonderful testimony and testimonies in God are wonderful and sometimes I think church services should just be filled with testimonies because I believe this is really a faith builder. You know we talk about the enemy, the devil, our adversary, Satan, who was spoken about in the very beginning of the Bible in the book of Genesis and we know that he's real and we know that he's not our friend and we know that he's not authentic or original in any way we know that he's called the accuser of the brethren we know that he's not a nice guy and we know that in Yeshua we can stand up against him not without the robes of Yeshua if we're gonna fight the adversary we need to have our weaponry which is Yeshua being clothed in Yeshua so the enemy is often called God's devil and he is because God created everything and everyone and so the Lord will use the devil to uh, increase our faith, I believe, to refine our faith. And I've been going through a very challenging time. But you know, it's like being in the waves. It's like being in rough waves and having trouble getting your footing. But God will allow those waves to come until he calms the waves. He's in charge, and nothing happens in our lives apart from the will of God. You know, if we look at the account of Job, I mean, the dialogue in the beginning of the book of Job is the, the enemy is wandering the earth, and um, <clears throat> God says to Job, have you considered my servant Job? And he says, oh, he just praises you because he has everything he needs or wants or desires. But he says, but, you know, bring him trouble and he won't continue to praise you and so the lord allowed job to be tormented slowly slowly everything was taken from him and yet we know in the end we know what happens that he was given back double for his trouble and so god allows the enemy to press upon us and the other thing is that my main gift with the dance ministry is encouragement and is my main gift for my life and i believe that the lord allows us to go through so much so that we hold on to him during the challenges difficulties but i choose to word use the word challenges because i feel like it's a positive choice of words as we hold on to God, namely Yeshua, and then we are victorious, God brings us through it, and then we can encourage one another. And the Bible tells us to comfort one another with the comfort that we have received from God. But the only way to be victorious is to hold on to God. And so he's God's devil, and the Lord uses the devil to refine us in the refiner's fire. And I can certainly tell you, living in Jerusalem and living in the land of Israel is living in the refiner's fire. And I always talk about this, that growth here, if you're a yielded vessel to God in Yeshua's name, your growth is exponential. It's supernatural. It's not natural. And so I just want to encourage you, God will calm the waves when he's good and ready to do that. He has his reasons. You know, he presses, he lets the enemy press upon us. He does. But then we come up for air. God calms the waves and we can come up for air. He's a good, good father and he's looking out for our best interest. <clears throat> and I can thank the Lord for every no in my life. When the answer is no, it's because God says, no, this is not my best for you. And if something isn't happening, it's either not his timing or it's not God's will and we should thank him because he has our best interest at heart. So let's hold on to the Lord today and let's come through every challenge victoriously. And the scripture says that my God has triumphed valiantly and we are in him, which means we are triumphing presently valiantly in the name of Yeshua. God bless you from the city of the great king, Yerushalayim Shabbat